Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial, and today we're gonna make a ragdoll physics simulation like this, with a cool flip and everything, to just to make it look cool. So, first you're gonna wanna open up a new document, and then instead of deleting the default cube, add another cube, and bring the new cube down like to 2.75. And then, in edit mode, scale on the z-axis 1.5, and on the y-axis, scale in divided by 2. From here, you'll duplicate that in object mode and in edit mode. Scale everything in by 3. And then line it up so that the gap's about the same. And then duplicate that and mirror it like that. And duplicate that and put it by the legs. And then duplicate that and mirror it again. Now we are going to add a plane axis empty and move it down 1.25. And this should, we'll just move them in between all the limbs and mirror them. Like so. Now, on their individual axis, just so we can see them better scale them in like that. Now, we are going to make them all rigid bodies, all the body parts. And make them all rigid bodies like that. So they should all have rigid body settings. And then, if you want, you can delete these to speed up the work and put this a rigid body constraint point with the disabled collisions and then re position all these and then for the objects just select the ones that the empties are between so it should fall now and now we're, we are going to add a plane, grab it down, negative 10-ish, and scale out to 20. Oh, make it a rigid body, passive. So now it should fall over. And if you want this to go faster in the rigid body world, you can make the speed 1.5. So now it should go faster. And if you want the cool flip, you're gonna add a mesh, scale it out to like three, and bring it to where the guy is. Bring it down, make it a rigid body, tick off dynamic and tick on animated, and then make a keyframe for location. And then five frames later, bring it up to like five and tick location and then if you want bring it back down and tick location five frames later so now if you did it it'll look like this so that's pretty cool oh he does a cool like flip after he hits the edge, so that's cool too. Look at that, amazing. So, now, if you want cool, like I'll show you, save this as, if you want a face like I have in mine, I have a face, One second. I have a face. 
and it changes based on if he's been hit yet. So now he's all happy, but then when he gets hit, right, when he gets hit, he's now sad. Here's a cool trick. This is optional, so if you're done, you can leave. Ah, I gotta rebake it. This is what happens when you close out of the thing. And if you don't want that to happen, I'll see, now he doesn't have the, oh, he does have the cool flip, amazing. So, you're going to, if you don't want that to happen when you leave, you can bake it in the rigid body world. So now if you want that cool face, cool, that cool, amazing face, you can go to where he's facing frontwards. Is this where he bends? Frontwards, yes, wait, no. He bends this way, so control one for that. If you want to animate his face, go to texture paint, and then here you can base color. Let's choose, let's choose pink. It doesn't matter what resolution because it's not that complicated of a pattern. You can just draw the face on here. This is the happy one. So that's the happy. And then you can save that in here as an image. And then you can do the same thing and erase this and make it like a ah, uh, I'm dying phase. And then that, you save that as base color two. And then just make these all, no, make these that color by using the dropper. And if you want to quickly add all the materials to control L, and that's how you do that. So, if you go into the head color and you change this to an image texture, and then in the file select, you click both of these, you click that and that. It should be an image sequence and make the start frame negative two. So then it won't it won't start by itself. Wait. Hmm. Why is that like that? Insert a keyframe for the offset. And then when it gets hit. So duplicate the keyframe to where it's not being hit. And then when it gets hit, wait, what? Oh, you can make the start frame, the frame it gets hit. So then it'll be like, wow, I'm a little guy. And then he should be, yeah, he should be very scared now. And just fly away. And that is how you make a rigid body, or a rigid body ragdoll. Oh. You can make the offset negative 95? No. 95? You can just make it one frame. Yeah, okay. Make it one frame. And then insert a keyframe for the offset here. And then when he gets hit, change the offset to the next frame. So now, now it should work without having a textureless head. Like so. And that is how you make a rigid body ragdoll physics simulation with a flip and an expressive facial animation. Thanks for watching.